There is no man in this house. Noah, go and call Mr. Bumble at once. Noah went and called Mr. Bumble, and then Mr. Bumble locked him up in the room. He visited Oliver as usual, and he said to Mrs. Salbury, "All that you did was all that you did wrong was giving him meat, Mrs. Salbury." Mrs. Salbury started to cry. Then Oliver did not have the courage to stay in that house. So one day he packed all of his stuff and took a voyage to London. He had to go seventeen miles. So the first day he walked twelve miles. So day after day it took him seven days to go to London. So once he reached London, he fell on the street, asleep. So in the morning he woke up and his blood was leg was bleeding because he had worn a torn sock only to walk seventeen miles. So he sat down and walked, thinking that somebody would come and help him. to eat and they went to the inn. In the inn there was a man who was uh, quite old. So he was looking at Oliver really strange. He asked Jack who is this? Jack answered this is a boy. He wanted to stay at a some place so I brought him here. Then Faggy greeted him. His name was Faggy. He greeted Oliver. So Fagin gave him some food to eat and he they all of them went to sleep. So while everyone was asleep, Fagin took a box out of a pipe and Oliver just then woke up. Then Oliver was saying, What was it? When there were, when Fagin opened the box, there was jewels, gold watches, and rings. It was so much in that box. Then Fagin closed the box and saw Oliver seeing. He took a knife and said, Did you see anything, boy? Did you see anything? Then Oliver answered, Yes, sir, I did. Then Fagin noticed that Oliver was an honest boy. So Fagin told, Oh, that's just yours. Because I'm growing old, I need something for my life. So slowly and slowly, Fagin taught Oliver how to steal by saying that I'll teach you how to get marks out of the handkerchief. And he slowly taught him how to steal. So Oliver begged Fagin that he, that he can go out, but Fagin told him, but when one day he sent Jack and Charlie, the boy who works for Fagin, with Oliver. So I'm sure they have a plan. So they went and they saw, Oliver saw Charlie and Jack taking something out of a man's pocket. That man was reading a book in front of a bookshop. Then Oliver noticed that they are stealing handkerchiefs. Then Oliver thought, this is why Fagin taught me how to steal handkerchiefs. So they stole and they ran. Only uh, Charlie and Jack ran. Oliver was shocked. So he saw them running he was ran. But all the people thought that Oliver was the one who stole the handkerchief. So they called Oliver and the two children ran to Fagin.
Dragon's Inn. While the constable was going to uh, arrest Oliver, Mr. Brownlow, the one, uh, the one that his handkerchief got stolen, came and said, don't arrest that boy. He's so pretty. He, Mr. Brownlow took him home. Oliver, because Oliver fainted. Oliver was ill for several weeks. One day in Mr. Bedwin's room, he was staring at a picture in the wall. Oliver, Mrs. Bedwin says, that he is similar to the picture on the wall. So one day, Mr. Brownlow sent Oliver uh, with some books to the bookshop and with five pounds and dressed him nicely with a new pair of shoes. So Oliver went, because he had to return those books, he went and he was on the way he was going. Mr. Grimwin and Mr. Brownlow had a conversation. So Mr. Grimwin is Mr. Brownlow's friend. So Mr. Grimwin was talking very negatively about Oliver, saying that he would never return back to just believing in him. He will betray you and things like that. So when Oliver was going to the bookshop, a lady shouted and said, Oh my little brother Oliver, where have you been? Then then Oliver knew that it was Nancy, a girl who worked for Faggy. Later on the story, she's very kind and truthful. So behind Nancy, Charlie was there. So they took Oliver along with them and Faggy was happy that Oliver had returned so that they can set up something so Oliver could steal it. So Bill Sykes, uh, he's um, a rough man. He is one of the huge criminals in Fagin's gang. He was planning to steal some stuff at a house at Chertsey. So Bill Sykes was uh, telling Toby, another boy, that uh, you have to spy on that house at Chertsey so that we can a seal, but then Toby told Bill Sykes that the, your servants over there would never do anything for us because they are very truthful for their owners because they have been working there for 20 years. So, next, Faggy told Oliver to go see Bill along with Nancy. Oliver went and they were standing out of the house which they were, were going to plan of stealing and they were besides telling you have to go inside that window over there and go and get the stuff we want then oliver said no sir i can't do that besides sir if you don't do what i'm telling i will shoot you at once then oliver prayed to god and he went inside and he had a plan that whatever happens, he would go and wake them up and tell that Bill is trying to steal some stuff. So while, while Oliver was sent through the window, he had a lamp. So while he was going upstairs, the lamp, Bill knew that he was going to tell. So Bill said, come back boy, come back. Then. Oliver got so frightened that he dropped the lamp and the servants came to shoot Oliver. And they all ran and they somehow took Oliver out of the window. And Oliver was also running but then the servants shot him. So I will be ending here. So you should read the book to find out what happens to Oliver. And this is so mysterious. You have to read the book. So the key lines from the book is we should always be kind-hearted and thankful, uh, respect elderly people, be honest and brave, and always make new friends. So next is question time. So let's thank you everybody for listening to my presentation.